Hi everybody, good afternoon. Michelle Ritowski here with Daytona Fit Mom. And today I wanted to introduce you to my new series. We're actually going to be talking about healthy lunch boxes um, when packing school lunches for kids. Does that make sense? Yeah, it feels like it's Monday today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so healthy lunch box ideas for kids. Um, but first I'm actually today going to talk about some foods that are very unhealthy that are being marketed to our kids today. So in my blog, I'll talk more about this. I'll give you the reasons why and the ingredients and what the nine foods are that I'm going to talk about. But I did just want to list the foods out today and just show you a couple alternatives that we use. <clears throat> so chicken nuggets or chicken tenders, um, specifically fast food. Now we do get our Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets every once in a while, but trying to steer away from these as a quick fix and eating them for dinner all the time. There's a lot of bad hidden ingredients in them. And um, we all don't have the time to make our own at home. So an alternative that we found that we like is we use this, the Kid Fresh. If you can see it, chicken nuggets, super duper. There's vegetables hidden in them. Um, there's no preservatives, um, no artificial colors or flavors whole grains, pureed vegetables, less fat than other chicken nuggets, um, and the chickens are fed 100% vegetarian diet with no antibiotics. So this is something that we use when we have to have our chicken nuggets. Sugary cereal. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of us feed our kids these cereals, um, <clears throat> but they're bad. <laughs> um, an alternative that we use is if you find a cereal that's organic and has a lot of whole grains in it, um, this is one that we like. She doesn't eat cereal often, but every once in a while, so I'm just showing you guys an alternative to that. Again, I'll get into more of these in my blog and the reasons why. I'm just going to list them out today. Um, so the third food would be lunch meats or hot dogs. Um, the fourth is juice and juice flavored drinks. Um, water is best if you can get them early on thinking about drinking water to hydrate themselves and only do juice every once in a while, not juice flavored. Um, and I'll give you the reasons why later too. I don't want to get too much into the video to be probably an hour long video if we did that. Um, French fries. There's a lot of hidden fats in French fries. Um, if you can try popcorn instead or baked chips or something that we like, um, that we found as well, are these Harvest Snaps peas. They also get some protein in them as well, but it still satisfies that crunch. And we actually, um, for chips, we like these, the veggie chips. Um, these are from Super Target, <clears throat> and um, they do have less fat than your regular potato chips, and there's hidden vegetables in them. Um, they're made with broccoli, beets, tomatoes, spinach, and carrots. So if you have to have chips, this is a different alternative that you can go in. Um, my kid doesn't have Cheetos or any of that stuff. There, there's no nutrition in those. Um, they make you orange anyway. Um, but there's really no need for that. So we have some alternatives that we use there. Um, fruit leathers or fruit roll-ups. Um, just because I say fruit doesn't mean they're fruit. Um, they're fruit flavored. Um, there's really no nutritional value in them. Fruit is found in the grocery aisle, not in the candy aisle or the snack aisle. But if you have to have that, um, a lot of people make their own. Or we have found this organic fruit and veggie, veggie shreds. So we pack these every once in a while to cheer practice or in her lunch. Donuts. Sorry, guys. Donuts. Oh. Um, and pizza. Pizza in moderation, though. Um, pizza is okay if you can <clears throat> make them at home. <clears throat> Excuse me. As much as possible. Ironically, we just made our own pizzas last night. Um, <clears throat> but if you can make them in your house, they're a lot more healthier than ordering out or getting fast food pizza or frozen pizzas. Um, <clears throat> so those are just some. Those were nine. Um, look for my blog later and I will talk more about the ingredients and why these are unhealthy foods being marketed to our kids today and some alternatives that you can start them out on earlier is best. Now again, these are for school age children, not infants and toddlers. Um, but anytime we can try to instill healthy habits early on, they really won't know any difference. So um, just some things to steer away from and look for my blog later today. And I hope that some of you are saying, oh yeah, yeah, I don't feed my kid that or oh yeah, I feed them that. But 
I really didn't know that was that unhealthy. And um, so hopefully you take that away from what I'm going to bring you. So if you have any questions, you can still go ahead and comment on this live after it ends. I'll come back and answer them later. And if not, look for my blog. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.